That gumball fanfiction episode, The Shippening, is so good, you know I gotta make more than just one video on it. Let's talk about why it's literally Death Note and why that makes the episode even better. First of all, notice the beginning tune that plays during the title card. It's subtle, but sounds pretty similar to L's theme from Death Note. Let's now point out something you probably immediately noticed when watching the episode. Sarah's shirt has Japanese letters, which is different from her typical design. It's because she's an otaku, and she literally states this later on in the episode, which is hilarious. It shows that the Gumball crew is well aware of what they're parodying, and it makes the whole Death Note situation even more recognizable. Now when Sarah receives this mysterious notebook, she finds out that anything written in it will actually happen. Yes, this concept can be seen in other stuff like Scribblenauts, but the Death Note comparison gets even clearer in the second half of the episode. Towards the end, everything is going haywire and nobody knows what to do. Gumball steps up to plate and starts writing various things inside the journal, very much like how Light Yagami rapidly writes names and situations for people to die. But in the Gumball episode, he constantly writes about the original characters and other members of the cast getting in dangerous situations. Also, take a look at this one scene where Sarah is rapidly writing down names and how certain situations will play out all because of what she puts inside the notebook. Obviously she's gone mad with power, which is much like Light Yagami when he got used to having the Death Note. I'm gonna show you L. With Ryuk's information and my preparations, I can continue to kill criminals whose names are broadcast on the news while masquerading as a typical high school student studying for his entrance exams. Just watch me, L. The entire episode just seems like Sarah's descent into madness in a similar way to Light Yagami after receiving a mysterious notebook that makes whatever's written down happen. If Sarah really wanted to and The Amazing World of Gumball was a really dark cartoon, then she probably would have the ability to kill others if she writes for them to die in this notebook. But yeah, it's a kid's cartoon so that's never happening. Although we did get some pretty disturbing things from what was written in the notebook in this episode, which did give some nice nods to Death Note. Well, you gotta fix it, okay? Right. Oh, I probably need to destroy it thoroughly. Are you okay? <laughs> One small thing that could also potentially be referencing Death Note is the cop side to the story. Think about it, there wasn't really much of a point for them to be around other than the beginning scene. Towards the end of the episode when they're running in the house trying to get the journal really reminds me of Light's battle against the police and detectives, which was really cool. Overall, this shipping was a really great episode that turned out more awesome because of its Death Note references. I never expected I would see that in a kid's cartoon, but a love note is still entertaining nonetheless. If there were any other knots to the anime that you noticed, let me know down in the comments. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.